Welcome to our Mothering Sunday service from Old Summerby. There are many different types of family. I'm just in the process of reading Living in Love and Faith, which is a report that has been commissioned by the Church of England to help us to explore how relationships and ways of Christian living have changed increasingly swiftly in recent times. Diana's reflection today reminds us that whatever our biological and social families look like, we are also part of the church family, a loving and supporting Christian family that welcomes us to be part of it. We turn now to our opening prayer. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind us together and heal us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We have as our first hymn the song Jubilate Everybody. Um, it's a shortened, uh, joyous song. And Jubilate Deo, which are the Latin words you find in it, mean make a joyful noise to the Lord. So that's what we're going to do now. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Our Bible reading comes from St John's Gospel in chapter 19. It's an account of Jesus and Mary at the cross. And so it might seem like a rather serious reading for Mothering Sunday. But in it we see how Jesus, even in his own pain on the cross, was concerned to ensure that Mary was part of a supportive family after he had gone. Diana picks up this point in her reflection. So here is this reading. Jesus' mother, Mary, and other followers of Jesus stayed with him while he was on the cross. When Jesus saw that Mary and the young disciple John were standing together, he told them to be mother and son to each other. And from that time on, John took Mary into his own home. This is the word of the Lord. Friends, on this unusual Mothering Sunday, I want to start by turning our attention to the part of St John's Gospel that we have read. It must have been heartbreaking for Mary to see her child dying. And yet, there she was at the foot of the cross. She will not be separated from her boy. Mary's husband Joseph had most likely died, 
and so Mary would have been looked after by her children. But now Jesus is dying. What is going to happen to his mum? Even though Jesus must have been in terrible pain, he is still thinking about other people. Who is going to take care of Mary? We see from our reading that Jesus has a plan, as he hands over the welfare of Mary to John. John is one of the apostles and the author of the gospel we've just read, and therefore, of course, a Christian. And in these beautiful verses, we see Jesus bringing together these two disciples and making them into a family. Jesus, as he is dying, in effect, says to John, I want you to be a son to my mum. And to Mary, I want you to be a mum to John. Now that may seem lovely, but back then it would have been a little strange. Mary like, most likely had other members of her biological family who would have looked after her. John most probably already had a mother to look after. So why does Jesus tell John, one of his followers, to take care of his mum? And the answer is that Jesus believed that he was creating a new family, the church. And that what unites this family is even stronger than what unites a biological family. And what unites Christians and makes them part of the church is what is going on in the scene we've just read. Jesus is on the cross. Jesus is dying. So that everything that separates us from God, all our sins, all our mistakes, can be wiped away. Jesus is dying on the cross so that we can be forgiven and God can be our Father once again. And if I've been forgiven and God is my Father, and you've been forgiven and God is your Father, then that makes us brothers and sisters. Now, because of the cross, we have a new family. We have a new Father, God himself. We have a new mother in the church, represented in our reading by Mary. And we have new siblings, every Christian, not just those in Lincolnshire or those who are alive now, but every Christian who has ever existed. We live in strange times when much of our society, including our church services, are suspended. We cannot at the moment gather together as a family. But just because we cannot gather together does not mean that we are no longer a family. In fact, it is even more important that we act together to care for our family and as a church in our parish to reach out and care for all those in need. So how do we do that? First, we should pray and read our Bibles. Keep ourselves in touch with our Heavenly Father. So pray and ask God to remove this pandemic from our towns, our nations and our world and ask God to bring comfort and to help those affected. Second, we should look outwards to those in need. Maybe we can ring somebody who, is, who we know is alone. Many people have moved during this pandemic and probably are very lonely because they haven't made new friends. So pick up the phone, ring them up. Maybe we can provide food for those who are isolated. Of course, the food bank is an excellent way of contributing to this. And maybe we can deliver a notice to help those keep in touch with our church. Wherever you are, whether you are isolated or not, you can do something to help our church family and indeed to help the wider community. This Mothering Sunday, remember that when Jesus died, he made all those who follow him members of the same family. As members of that family, as members of Christ's church, let us show our family likeness by praying for and serving those around us throughout this difficult time and out the other side. May I now wish you all a very happy Mothering Sunday. Celebrate your mums wherever they may be. Amen.
time of prayer, we're going to use the song Come By Our. Come by our means come by here. We are asking God to come by here, wherever that is for us this morning, and be with us and those we care about in times of sadness or joy or in our conversations with him. We bring with us in our prayer this morning, in this group of parishes, people that we name particularly. They are Richard Hanmer, Kathy Cheeseman, John Todd, Robert Arlett, Neil Wilson, Brian French, and Dawn Eldred. And also, we bring the souls of Marjorie Rastel, Penny, and Christine Lawrence, remembering particularly all those who mourn them. So now we come to our song, our song of prayer, Come by our.
And finally, we come to the blessing. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord turn his face towards us and give us his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us this Mothering Sunday and always. Amen. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I guess in these times that we will not be together with the people we'd like to be with necessarily, but I hope you keep them in your hearts and where that's possible, you have phone calls or Zooms or whatever. So God bless your day. Bye for now.